myself as a, uh, especially in the stadium, a lot of incredible football games, nothing was my decision. I, I, obviously, I didn't explain it well enough so far, so maybe at one point I will try it again, but not today. So I, these games, good games, great games, fantastic football games. Um, I said now to everybody, I met my missus already directly after the game, and she was completely buzzing. So it must be good fun to watch it from the stands as well. So um, that's why I'm not, I'm not sure if I really would will miss something when I, if I am allowed to watch football games. So and nobody told me yet that. Uh, I have to be a manager to do that, so all good. But it was a good game. I know. Where, I, I like where you're coming from. You mustn't feel as if you should have had the penalty at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever I say now, I will not change that. So obviously, but I just and I I I, I tried to explain it to a colleague of yours, but she said. Yeah, but because of the high bar, they said, with the VR and stuff like this, he was not surprised that it's on a penalty. So, so there's always an explanation. The only thing is, I, I, I would now think that in this room, everybody thinks, yeah, if he whistles a penalty, that would have been not a scandal. Let me say it like that. He hits him on the chest. Does he touch the ball before? Yes. Does that make any difference on any position of the pitch if your leg is that high? You can kick the ball before, and after that, the foot is here, and you go off. It's not a red card, obviously, but this is a clear foul. So, but I had to speak so often about it, um, and I don't, I really don't care. It's, 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 I'm, I'm already over it. It's absolutely fine. I'd love to get it, yeah. But nothing what I say, at least I learned that, will change that. Um, and so, I would have loved to use one of the ma massive chances we created. Yes, we were lucky when Doku hit the post, but we played an exceptional football game. And for us, besides the result, the most important information is we are right there. So we go the distance. Let's see what we get for it. But the boys fought so hard for absolutely everything to be there. So obviously, Arsenal at the moment is firing on all cylinders. Last night, yes, was a bit late, but I'm still playing an incredible game. City is City. Um, and so for us, it's probably a little bit like, how did we get through all that, that we're still there? It's a bit crazy, like all these games we had with the squad situation we had. Though. And today, I saw the best. He said eight minutes extra. So the best 53 minutes we had against Manchester City. It was exceptional what, how we played. Um, and it's important as well that we learned that about ourselves, that we can do that. And now we let's keep going. So it doesn't frustrate you more that having played so well, you still don't get the decision. The decision which could define the season. We are used to that. They all are I mean, look I, I, I years ago we had a situation playing against City, a halfway line, and I love Winnie Company, a halfway line, counter attack. Musala passed Winnie Company, Winnie knocks him down, a clear red card, not given. At the end of the season, I don't even know which season it was, but we, we don't become champion for a point or whatever. In these high intense games against 10 men, would have loved to see it. If I mentioned what I do now, and I couldn't care less what people think, to be honest, that's at least a good thing about leaving uh, after the season. Um, if I mention it today, then people say, yeah, but there were other things, situations as well, and there were this and that. Yeah, it's true. But just imagine that would be all right. Just imagine a crazy situation where we have we are, they are all right, they just have always the right decision. But now we are constantly discussing about something where the, why would the guy in this video ask you just think, uh, I think that's not clear and obvious. What must you have for lunch if you think that's not clear and obvious? So, and that's just, but I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm not angry or whatever. It's just the situation, but it's fine. I'm so happy about the way we played today. So the result is only one thing. And if we win this game today, then what are we then? Four points in front of City or whatever? This is not a distance where you should just fall asleep. And maybe two points ahead of Arsenal. Yeah, the way they play, they will not stop. So nothing to do. For, for us, it's important that after all the different ways we found, not always great performance, just 
highest intense fights to get a result like Nottingham or whatever, um, that we can play like this as well. That's the information we need, that we can create something like this today. And our injury situation is still awful. Uh, there are many players not available, it's crazy. And they were today all in. I, I, I would say you can play that game with only the players who are not or are not available today, so that would have been a good one as well. Um, so that's it. I'm, for once, I'm not moaning. I just I mention it. Thank you. Uh, you, you've been involved in obviously very intense fight races with some other teams. Does three teams change anything? Like, or is it just a case of focus? I don't, I don't think I've ever been involved in a title race with three teams. Germany was originally Bayern, but uh, in the one year we became champion was Leverkusen. And here, there was only one team who became champion, usually we, we step one time in between. Um, I don't think it was, was the third team around, no, I don't think so. So I don't know. I literally don't know if it changed something. Um, we, um, we, how many games do we have to play? Ten. Ten. Yeah. So. Um, obviously, nothing is decided. Blah blah blah. We have to play There's plenty of games. Next one is in, in the league. Is I think Brighton at home. Traditionally, we, it, it's not our favorite opponent. So it's not that we think, oh, thank God, Brighton. Um, so they, they they play really good football, and it's for us um, a tough game. At one point, we play Tottenham here. We have to go to Aston Villa, stuff like this. City plays Arsenal, wherever. Play probably Tottenham as well, and and Aston Villa. So, so many teams are fighting. So much quality. The only thing I need for the moment, besides I would prefer to have 30 points between us and all the other teams, but the realistic thing is, are we really in, in, are we really in that race from a performance point of view? And today, I saw a team who is in the right position, and now let's see what we can make of it. Look, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we need the players back. <laughs> we need. Today it's like, it, and, and I love that the whole, all the stories we created, like with the kids and stuff, oh, wonderful, w wonderful. Couldn't be happy about that. But of course, we fight for the biggest prize in football. So you, you should have today. We, we stand there, and if one of our Ibu Kunate is out, we start all three others, our other centre halves. If one goes down, we play in the next six days two games with two centre halves, or, um, which play all the time. So that's then that, that all these kind of things are really tricky. But we came through it, and that's why I said we played really good football in that time, and we we we, we were lucky in moments, winning late, stuff like this, fighting hard. 99th minute, 118th minute, stuff like this. That's all and all. We don't take that for granted. But today the performance was, was really like, oops, one or two players back. We can change like we changed. Oh, yeah, that is cool. Um, and that, that's why I'm really happy about that today. What, what that means for the next game, I have no idea. And I've, I don't even know a little bit about the situation. If anybody feels more than tired, I, I didn't ask yet. Um, but it's just a, a, a good information for me that we can play like that um, and um, I'm really happy with that and now let's see what we can do from here. No, no. Ibu has a chance for, for uh, United, a good chance. That's one other case. First of all, it's private, <laughs> even when it's in a football stadium um, and nothing what will change the world. That we. That we both respect each other a lot, and probably after the career we become our, somehow friends. He's a golfer. I'm not a golfer. I play paddle, but he's Spanish. He might play paddle as well. So who knows? We, there, will, there will be something. If we meet, we will have great talks about sensational football games and incredible stuff. But that's not we said enough often enough, and I think it's really, really obvious as well. We respect this a, a lot. By the words we speak to each other, so far. What's the best? 
on, on, the, on the scale I rate football games, there is no higher scale than playing the best football you can play against Man City, causing City the problems we, we caused them today. I was not here in a press conference, but probably Pep saw it as well that this was a different game to other games we played against them. Very often we won, it was counter attack, quick rebound, like quick thinking, shots from distance. <laughs> How we played through the midfield today, it was like, I, I, that was you know, some of the best moments of my coaching career, to be honest, that we are able to do that against them. And that you see a situation, and then a situation where nothing to do with football, but you can see <laughs> Luis Diaz against, against Walker, who is officially the fastest in the Premier League, didn't they say that only recently, whatever, and Rodri. And uh, he got, got, gets out of that, it's, um, it's absolutely incredible. So like the boys really wanted it, really good performance, massive heart, sensational atmosphere, one point, let's keep going. Thank you,